Now, what comes to your mind when you think about Pepsi? It's an aerated drink with a red, blue, and white globe. Well, you're right, but make a slight change in that because the soft drink manufacturer has got a new logo. The red, blue, and white is all there, but now the brand's name is written in the middle. This is an ode to how the logo used to be in the 90s. But makers say that it will also help the brand stay more relevant. It will roll out in North America this fall and globally next year. Now, Pepsi has been around for 125 years. The one that you have in your refrigerator right now, that design came out in 2008. The Pepsi in the logo is decoupled from the globe, and the changes are designed not only to make people reminisce, but also to draw attention to Pepsi's zero-sugar line. And this is emerging as a key part of the company's growth plan. It's not just that Pepsi, that zero, is becoming the new hero. Most soft drink companies are also focusing on zero sugar products. Earlier this year, Pepsi announced changes to its zero sugar recipe. Changing and revamping logos is common. The aim is to try and bring some freshness to the product, but major changes also risk confusing or upsetting customers. A case in point is that of Tropicana. Back in 2009, the juice brand changed the carton design drastically. The consumers were just outraged, and back then, Tropicana was owned by PepsiCo. But after the backlash, they changed the logo back within a few months. Now, we need to wait and see as to how Pepsi's new logo is, of course, received by the people. Will it be a pass or will it be a fail? That's something that still needs to be known. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.